Hey guys, what's up? It's Mick Guy here, and today in Scratch, we're going to be creating a really cool racing game. It's going to be awesome, and um, basically, you're going to be this car, and you're just going to race around track and see how fast you can get. So I'm going to provide the art um, in the description, so leave a like for that. But anyways, let's get right into the video. So as I just said, I put the art in um, a drive kind of link. So all I'm going to do is just press this upload button and then simply click this uh, car and press open and then in that I'm gonna go into when flag is clicked forever and then drag it in if else and before we do that we're gonna go into our stage and just make our backdrop really quickly so select that make this all the way here and then um, choose like a dark gray and basically you just want to stretch that out like that just so that it touches all the different edges and then we're going to choose the nice green and just color in the rest and then like I'm going to do I'm going to add some yellow marks for the um, like on um, it's not just me but <laughs> on the tracks they have these lines I think to separate which way you're going so I'm gonna add that with the line tool and I did a really bad job at that so I'm gonna make it a little bit better but obviously I'm just doing this for the sake of the tutorial um if I were to actually make a game out of this I'd spend a lot more time because um, you need good art to make a good game so then um all you want to do is shrink this guy a lot just so it's like that and delete your scratch cat and then go into scripts and drag in uh, we already did this part so then go into operators and say not and then go to sensing and drag into touching and then grab this green right here okay so it says if if you're not touching um, the green color then you want to drag it in if and then in that if you want to do sensing and you want to do key up is pressed then in that um, you want to go into control drag in an if and then in that you want to go into operators drag in a less than and then make a new variable called go into data and we're going to call this one speed so all you want to do is if speed is less than six which is going to be its max limit then change speed by 0 0.5 and then um, you're going to duplicate this and say if Dan arrow is pressed then all you want to do is change this to negative 6 and then say negative 0 0.3 because in our game you're not going to be able to go fast as fast as you go forward so if you go forward at full speed it's going to be faster than if you go backward at full speed um, so then just right click on this one and duplicate it put in your if and then make this like 0 0.1 and then the one below that just make it negative 0 0.7 oh negative 0 0.07 0 0.07 yeah okay so basically this is just saying if you're touching the color green then go slower but if you're not go regular speed so also with that we're going to go into events and drag in one flat clicked and then go into forever and simply say go into motion and drag in a move then inside the data you're going to say move speed steps but also you want to set speed to drag in the speed go into operators drag in a multiplication and you can scroll over just a bit and say 0 0.95 so now you can see that it actually goes it's pretty cool um so yeah all right but you can't really turn in this game and you start in this really weird uh position so all we're gonna do is go into our stage and then or actually make a new sprite and all it's gonna be is this little black line like that and drag that right there perfect 
and then we can extend it a bit this way and a bit this way and that looks perfect all right so basically all you want to say is one flag is clicked um go into motion say go to and then obviously sprite one which is the line say go to front and also with that you want to point in direction 90. all right and then set speed to zero so now you can do this and you can see we go slower and we go on the green which is what we want which is perfect um so then in forever we want to say um also with that go into control drag in an if go into sensing drag in a key pressed and we can drag this up a little bit here use the right one and duplicate that and make it the left one and then in the right one you want to go right five degrees or in the left one you want to go left five degrees all right so then you get this cool little um car that goes around and it's really easy right now because i can basically just control it so in order to fix that we're going to make our car a little bit bigger because we don't want it to be too easy we want them to hit some green and it's still pretty easy but we can add different tracks later on and you guys can do that if you want to but i like the size for the car so then all you want to do is go into data make a new variable we're going to call it laps so then set laps to zero all right so um in laps we're going to go into uh we're going to clean this up and go into events and drag in a when flag clicked and save forever then go into wait until and say wait until um x is going to operators say go into data or motion actually go into the bottom say x position is greater than zero and then wait until x position is greater than let's see um 210 and then wait until y position or actually we can just duplicate the first one and take out that one um and we can make this less than and then as you may have guessed we just do the opposite way around and then we just make this negative to 10 and we make it less than then change laps by one so all this is saying is you have to wait until we mark these checkpoints which is one right here one right here one right here and then one right here and then i'll add a lap because technically what you could do if we didn't add this to get laps you could literally just go here then just go around and go in but now what you have to do is you actually have to go through everything and then only then if this works you Oh. Alright, X is position is greater than zero is greater than two ten. We we can check that. X position is less than two ten, less than zero, and then X position is le less than negative two ten. That's a little bit much. So I'm gonna do like that and say negative one. 76 so now if we go around it we can tell almost um i think this should be 176 just play around with the numbers to see what works for your size um your size car and your size track and i think this one will work all right so then just do that what i did is i just switched the order so now you can see it's a little bit different now if we try to do this it should work again no promises yep it works all right so now we're gonna make a, a time right so go into events and say when flag is clicked and then go into forever go drag in an if go into operators drag in an equals and dragon uh put a five there go into your data dragon laps 
and say if his lapse is equal to five, then you're gonna um, ask or let's go into looks and then say go into sensing, say timer. Basically, this is gonna basically be your score. So the lower the timer is, the better. All right. So you can see that we got this. And just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go into data and change laps by four. So then we can actually see if this works. So now I'm just gonna go around here and boom, five. And actually say timer for five seconds. I messed that up, whoops. <laughs> All right, so let's try this again. Change laps by and then you can see we got 4.5 4 4.15 anyways um thanks for watching i sorry sorry i didn't post in a while i had finals and a lot of big projects to do at school but i hope to bring you guys some new content over the summer which is really soon about two weeks for me anyways thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time and peace